Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, <laughs> already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well, that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves, what they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. down to the Lanahatchee River, I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. It'll take more than that, boy. How you doing, boy? Hey, why are you getting off? Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather, but rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman, especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Got one. 
the fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We open the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Tom O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner, and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Told you it wasn't that hard. Another one. Don't rush it, Arthur. This is an angry one. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Lucky. Okay, let's try for another. Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? That's fine with me. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Good-looking fish. Well done. You got one. Make sure he's tired before you reel in. He's small, but. Might make a nice meal. Another one. Come on.
a fighter. This is an angry one. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Get out of your way. Pull to the left as he goes right. Good job, Arthur. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or, uh... You keep trying for these bastards. I'll come. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hey, Uncle. You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. If you even noticed, we moved camp. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Why'd you come here and... A seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. Take it easy. I got it. I'm just messing with you. So, uh, what do you want to I mean, where are you? Thanks, Mr. Pearson. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Well, you know, yeah, I hear you. You should keep us fully stocked. Hell. A god. Many Damn. thanks, Mr. Morgan. Drink! 
An old house. I don't think you'll really prepared. convince anyone you're a lawman, Arthur. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Sir, I, I gotta go help with the horses. Sorry. Excuse me. With the horses? Wait a minute. Come on back here. Well, come on back here, you hear? Shit. So you got a plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. Okay. Arthur, can, can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way. Bunch of smart Alex. Yeah. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. 
They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, hold up here. We should cover... Our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet. Clean. Nobody needs to die. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Awesome. help me out. Good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Sack. Stay until dark. Then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. 
Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Over by the house. Damn. Hide it now. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Ain't better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Let's head to the woods! That was a close! 
Win at me. Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Uh, this is a young man's game. Uh oh, really, those boys ain't as quiet as. Guess we should go give them a hand. Do with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. in Congress uh, and their ludicrous ideas. Uh, but today, we grow one yeah, more yeah, yeah, yeah. as we anoint a new brother yeah, into our it. sacred cause. Yeah, yeah, Please, step yeah, forward yeah, and kneel. Right. Yeah, hey. Do you choose to accept the light? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah! All right. Come on. <laughs> Let there we go. the eternal All light right. shine. Yeah. Oh.
Okay, boy. Let's go, boy. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That... Set of shrubs. That's where I lost sight of him. I got it. The trail. These are paw prints. Looks like back like blood to me. Shit, what's this? Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. <sighs> That'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <sighs> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. <clears throat> Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. Oh. Well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. 
We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, uh, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? So, top five at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. But now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. Yeah. Oh, there it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly dreary, bloody lame. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin.
What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat! <laughs> it looks like a lion to me! That's a dog in there! A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside! No dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. He shot the thing! Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner! Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do! Might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron. Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for. You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> a knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Rommel, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, 
pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. <laughs> You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be talking the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Okay, mister? Ah! Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Drink oh, this. It's It'll like... help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. oh. I owe you one, mister. Not that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Yep. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't...
morning, mister. You know, my luck is going so Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry there. Oh, they're gonna be the end of me. Bastards, these little bastards. Please, I need help here. The saloon is absolutely overrun with rats. Worse than last time. Much, much worse. I can't get near the damn things, scurrying around. But I need him gone. I'll pay double from the last time, huh? Yeah? Jesus, fella. Won't say no to the money, though. Oh, thank God. Head in there, but please... Please, try not to destroy the place.
Well, shit. Thank you, mister. You earned this, that's for sure. You got it. Hey, partner. Hello there. I'm just in a Listen, friendly mood today to for some me, reason. Friends, this book yeah, is precious you. tome. This passport to earthly paradise. I have written it for you so that you can be like me, a rich, happy, successful man who is now dedicating his life to helping those with the wisdom to help themselves. Yes, I'm a philanthropist, an American philanthropist. I only help those who help themselves. Help themselves how, I hear you ask? Help themselves by reading this book. Read this book and save yourself. You'll live free from worry about money. You'll be in a mansion, not the workhouse. Your children will grow up wealthy and supercilious, not street urchins and thieves. Think about it. Think about you want freedom. You want happiness. You need money. It's all right here. Mr. Simon's been serving us all. see that in. What, eh? really? Look who it is. Hello. Let's like try this out. Ghost so hey, long. mister. You ever play this before? Hi, folks. Ma'am. Bonjour. I had a man try to propose to one of the girls. Got nearly all the way through it for his wife. Mm-hmm. Fresh lobster bisque. It's happened before, you know. Bonjour, monsieur. Good meal, I hope. Monsieur? Got a hunch on this. Got any idea what time it is? Don't let me I'm rush sorry, you. I don't know. Can I get a hot bath, please? I'll have the girls make it for you. How you do? Excuse me, partner. Madam, back here. Well, hey, this here is a real man's game. Hello, mister. Need someone to take over in there? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, you go ahead.
Don't you have a good time? No, thank you, lady. I see. You are one of those. No judgment for me. You have voices. Another train robbery off on the granite pass. No deaths this time, I hear. Oh. Ready to take over the world. All those steamboats from Hello our there. that keep catching fire, they're all in short. You have a job? Serbian. Gracious. Let's see one more game. All right. Check. Bonjour. I trust everything is ready. As well as can be expected. Yeah. I'll uh, check. I'll give this much. Raise me? Ain't got me scared. Hmm. Oh, you scared? Check for me. Are we playing a game here or what? <laughs> All right. All in. Bigger they are. This isn't going to be. It. Well, looky here. Ah, uh, god damn it. <laughs> you beaut. I'm tired of them riding through the streets. Hmm. God damn it. See. I'm through with this. You good playing with you? That new judge is like all the others. I don't know. Those limo and fellows. Come on. You got this. They won't be happy unless we face another war. Be able to rid gas. Say la vie. Thank you. Out of that old story. I got deep pockets. Great. The investors are starting to worry. Mm. I'll call. I hear young Pushair's son does not have his father's eyes. Let's try this out. Never win that way. This is annoying. Sure. I'll check. Raise me? Ain't got me scared. Let's get this game going. I raise. Let's go. Feast your eyes oh, on me. I'm gone dead, oh. boys. Oh, come on. Huh. A win's a win. Check. Oh, well. <laughs> no. Got a hunch on this. Not just a little wager. These cowboys, I'm tired of them riding oh, through the street. I'm drunk. If our ancestors could see us now. I'll check. I raise. 
You hear they caught one of the laborers stealing wine from the church? Here. I just met this dear, sweet Mexican man yeah. fresh off the boat, ready to find fortune here. Poor misguided soul. I reckon I'll go all in. Dang it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's go. Can I borrow Where your the that hanged himself in his room at the end. Let's just say I wish I lived in Central Town. Well, this is proper sport, eh, friends? All right. You ever play this before, friend? Mmm. Let's try this out. I'm game. Forgive me. It's all I can afford. Got a hunch on this. Hey, the cow, it's game. Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. Let's try this out. Show him. There. Oh, ain't you a bold one? I'm a play slow. Let's go. Oh, I drank too much. Here, just a little. Let's be brave, all in. I don't think you got anything. There. Dead man walking here. Come on. <laughs> yep. Jesus, I didn't think I'd win that one. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's a decent hand. That's how we school <laughs> Damn! Finally, my luck is turning out. You running hot. Guess I better go. Be seeing you. Take you my order something. Hello, sir. I've been quiet this entire fucking time. Oh my god. Damn. That is 79 minutes of me not talking. 80. 80 minutes.
I know, that's crazy. I really wasn't talking the entire time, huh? Damn, that's insane. Well, that sucks. I had some good, good comments. Good commentating. I'm gonna go back to that saloon and blow it up again. Out of the damn way! Can you get out of the way? I'm sorry, lady. Yep. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. I got a present for y'all. Uh, have fun. Here you go. Here you go. I'm sticking out of my. Sticking out of my for you. Oh, God. Sticking out of my for you. Stick a dynamite for you. God damn it. Yeah, stick a dynamite for you. sticks of dynamite I have. <laughs> Damn! I can't believe I was not talking that entire fucking time. It really pisses me off. I would like you to press start, please, and load the game. Story, load game. He's British, of course. I got my Christmas sweater. It's Mike Tyson it says Merry Christmas. I celebrate Christmas just like everybody else. I just take a bite, bite out of the ear of corn and I spend it with my family. Merry Christmas. Damn. That really sucks. I had some really good material. that for next time, I suppose. <laughs> Dubois? Voulez-vous que je suis à la bois? C'est quoi?
Yeah, the mean one. I'm not playing Overwatch. I still have like half an hour left here. Stop forcing me to do things my body doesn't want to do. I'm gonna do this mission and then I might. Depending on how long it takes me. Who's that? Albert Mason. Albert Mason needs first. I'm not gonna fucking help you. I'm done helping you. This is a dead end. I've never seen anything like that before. Let's get. Hello. Come on. Let's go. We got work to do. Move. Out of my way. <laughs> We're out of town. Yes, I'll just say Vince. thank you. Hey, we got a proposition for you. Here it is. Fork over what you got. How about no? How about now? No stealing from me. Illegal Hall. Hear the gray plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. I was already here. Ha ha ha. Uh. Hey, you. You look important. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. 
I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Why do you stop running? See you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. Never the thing mind. is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Bethwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look out for their guard. Says I suck at poker. What kind of fucking comment is that? Yay, I don't have to go to work on Sunday. The government shut down. Woohoo! Everybody go home. Government shut down. You don't work for the feds no more. Got it, Bob, out it. That's how it works, right? They shut down Radio Shack, there's no nobody there. I feel like there was a significantly faster way for me to get to my destination than walking. I'm gonna run out of stamina. Ugh. I'm very tired, I will rest right here. He left. That's unfortunate. Your turn to be tired. Let's go. Easy boy.
Mi spinello ti si è 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 ti Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also Penelope so human. Penelope and Bo. The rest of our families are... Romeo and Juliet. Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. This but if they find mission out, would be more exciting. they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Jesus Christ, sorry, this are, game's fucking are, moving in this chapter. I might as well just be playing else. Overwatch. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here... If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Take a multiple. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, Ohio, an awful place and black sheep. They're racist ass game. Honestly, want to get it, seeing you play it. And that's how we sell games. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to fucking see anything? Oh, sneak out without the guards seeing you. Oh, by the way, the guards' dots on the fucking minimap are the same color as the minimap. This doesn't piss me off. Dude, I can't see a fucking thing on that. I need a... This that doesn't help this current situation. Horse, get over here. This current situation. Horse, get over here. Story mission. I'm gonna give a uh, fucking story mission one more chance and then fucking go over and watch because it's fucking. It, fuck it, just. <sighs> fucking. Oh, gray. Really? I'm not fucking. Lenny. What does Lenny want? Lenny needs to speak with you. Oh my god. I'm not doing fetch. Oh my god. 
I decided... You know what? I think I am going to go to Overwatch. Very back. 